Hello, it's Matthew from Zero Chippenham here, and it's exactly a year since we had our octopus heat pump that you can see just here installed. So the question is, how did we get on? Are all the myths true? Were we freezing cold? Is it incredibly noisy? Have our electricity costs been sky high? How, how was it? Well, here's the thing. Actually, all the myths weren't true. So, spoiler alert there. So, firstly, it's incredibly quiet. I mean, it's not actually running at the moment, but you can hear the background noise. Um, I've got a previous video where it is running, and you can see that actually it's very, very quiet. Were we warm and comfortable all winter? Absolutely. In fact, the house was um, better than it was on the gas combi boiler. Um, largely because the radiators have been correctly sized by Octopus, so um, you know we didn't have any cold rooms like our box room was previously very cold. Running costs are perhaps the biggest surprise. Um, now I wasn't expecting to actually save any money. The main reason I did this was for carbon savings. Um, now. I should say we already have solar and battery we had solar and battery when we were running gas and of course solar and battery reduce your running costs I mean or we wouldn't do it you know absolutely but they effectively take out the base electricity load of the house so I've done a previous video where I've looked at winter running costs um, from November to February this year and we had so little solar in those months and you know the battery is a five kilowatt hour battery which isn't enormous so even with gas it would run out before the end of the day in the winter so um, as I said previously it hasn't been an influencing factor on our winter running costs um, in terms of our summer running costs well we've had a very good year for solar and yes it's had some effect on reducing our overall usage but you know most of the savings I think are due to removing our gas hob and changing it to an induction hob and swapping our heating system for a heat pump. So I've looked at the figures over the course of the year and put them in this post but essentially we've gone from 13,800 kilowatt hours when we had gas and electricity so that's total household use not just heating but everything down to about 6,400 kilowatt hours I got that right yeah 6400 kilowatt hours so that's a, a massive reduction in energy usage um, consequently and we're on the intelligent octopus go tariff because we have a plug-in hybrid vehicle so that gives us seven pence a kilowatt hour at night so very cheap electricity at night um, and around 28 pence a kilowatt hour in the day so quite expensive in the daytime so obviously we want to use as much of that nighttime electricity as we can which is why we heat the hot water at night um, which is the hot water tank um, heated by the heat pump so that saves money and then we start the heating um, with heat pumps you tend to keep them roughly a constant temperature so we drop it back a degree at night because we don't like it too hot at night but then early hours of the morning round oh I don't know around about five o'clock 4.30 I start to ramp the heating back up a little bit simply because that's our lower rate um, electricity and then the battery takes a little bit out of the morning um, and the big surprise is that overall we saved £490 so our electricity uh, combined electricity gas bill the previous year was um, nearly £1,600 that's reduced to £1,100 um, now I don't get solar export payments at the moment although we have now been accepted um, on the Octopus non-MCS scheme um, so consequently that's another £150 I could have saved this year but um, we didn't but hopefully next year we will um, so yeah I mean overall uh, my wife's been really pleased um, with the whole way the thing runs um, the hot water has been plentiful uh, we've had a lot of household occupancy actually we've got a garden room behind us here you can see that we used for Airbnb this year which we didn't last year so generally we've had between four and seven people in the house most days um, whereas uh, previously you know we were um, three or four with our children so so our household occupancy is actually much the same we've gone up it's not gone down um, and yeah we've managed to save money and it's not you know whilst it's partly down to having solar and battery in the summer um, overall the um, huge energy reductions we've seen are down to um, 
switch into a heat pump from gas. Um, looking at the efficiency of the heat pump, so you can get these from the um, sort of uh, graphical interface, man machine interface um, statistics, and for hot water, we're running it, uh, a COP, so called COP, which is, um, you know, for one kilowatt hour of water, how many kilowatt hours of heat you generate. So for hot water, we're on a COP of three, um, and the reason that's um, that level is because we've got an immersion that runs once a week for anti legionella cycles and we've got um, um, also we tend to heat hot water at night when it's colder so we're not getting quite such efficiency gains uh, for heating we're getting a cop of 3.6 so for every kilowatt hour of electricity we generate 3.6 kilowatt hours of uh, heat and that's where all those energy savings are come from Obviously, we also changed the gas hob to an induction hob, and I haven't looked in detail at that. An, an induction hob is more efficient than a gas hob, um, but I'm thinking that most of the savings are probably down to the heat pump. And yeah, we're really pleased with it. Um, we were lucky. We got in on uh, when Octopus were doing very good pricing, so we, we got ours installed after the grant, the Boiler up ski, Upgrade Scheme grant for 2,180, which is comparable with... Um, you know a gas boiler really replacement so for us it was a heating system replacement um, octopus prices have gone up a bit now um, and other competitors prices have come down so my advice would be to get sort of three quotes you know um, octopus obviously still very good um, a friend has had a heat geek installation they, they're um, for not much difference now to an octopus installation price and they put in very efficient installations so um, worth looking at Heat Geek, I'd say. Locally, we have Good Energy as well, who, who have a good reputation and train people at Lackham College. So there are lots of choices. If you look on our home energy page, we've got um, a list of installers that, that Zero Chip and volunteers have used. Um, but yeah, very impressed with our heat pump. Um, and, you know, I definitely recommend one. And all of those myths, certainly for us, haven't been true at all. You know, the house is warm and it's not, it's an old house, it's a 1930s house. If you look, it's got an old 1970s extension on it. It's not particularly, um, you know, insulated. Um, we've, we've got cavity wall insulation, we have done loft insulation, but there are still lots of um, air gaps and holes and things around it. The double glazing is a, a variable age. You know, some of it's new as we've replaced a bit, other bits are old. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend a heat pump. Your house doesn't know what type of energy is heating it. it doesn't know you've got a heat pump. So as long as your heat pump's correctly sized, um, you'll be fine. Um, and that's it. So thank you very much.